I'm moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm just like a soldier Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Ripping here, and today we're back at again with another brand new Call of Duty Mobile Gunsmith video. Specifically for season 4 meta here, guys, as you can see the title and name of this video. This video is going to be about the best TP19 Bison Gunsmith for this season, guys. Yes, I know this is one of the most dominating uh, SMGs in this game right now, paired up with the QXR and whatnot. But nonetheless, guys, this gun is insanely powerful. If you're not using it, uh, using it yet um you guys you should try to you know probably better start using it you know but nonetheless <laughs> guys before i you know show you guys everything the full loadout and whatnot and you know the attachments i just want to let you guys know that i'm really really thankful of you guys being really generous with your time and you know clicking on this video and watching it you know you guys are freaking awesome and you guys deserve a cookie but nonetheless guys if you haven't yet and you're new to my channel definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and also make sure you hit that like button so you can help other people that are you know trying to find a good gunsmith build you can help those people out at the same time so nonetheless guys let's go ahead and dive right into this video the pp19 as i said did not really have many you know changes to the uh, you know to the um to the gun itself to the attachments or anything no buffs no nerfs uh, whatsoever but nonetheless this gun is still dominating was still dominating last season and is still currently the number one smg you know that's just my belief but nonetheless guys this is the build that i'm currently rocking on my pp19 bison as you guys can see on the screen right now i'm gonna leave it up for a little bit but if you haven't yet you can always feel free to go back and screenshot it but unless as you guys can see in the build i have the mothic suppressor as my muzzle the old OC marksman as my barrel the no stock as my stock the granulated grip tape as my rear grip and last the old OC laser tactical as my laser this build, this build is pretty straightforward to be honest it has really high amounts of ads speed at uh, attachments attached to it so specifically tailored towards the old OC laser tactical and the no stock which really make the ads Speed, you know just super super fast like you really want that specifically on smg and also specifically on the number one smg in the game itself but unless since this gun has already a really good amount of ammo capacity we really don't want to touch with the ammunition at all um i did try on the large caliber ammo i'm not gonna lie but this is gonna be a build without the large caliber ammo i'm you know sorry if you guys are um you know but i did do some testing here with the large caliber ammo and you know the large caliber ammo is good but it does come with a pretty good amount of downfalls and you, we, you really don't want it i have played with the large caliber ammo on at the same time and without it and i really think without the large caliber ammo it really you know frees up a lot of you know negativity that's in the gun i'm um, not like energy wise but like you know the downfalls that the gun you know specifically has so let me know what you guys think and if you guys are you know like using the large caliber ammo on your pp19 bison there's also another way to do so all you got to do is replace the granulated grip tape with the you know the large caliber ammo ammunition and you'll be set to go but nonetheless guys that is what that's going to be so with the large caliber ammo we're going to have a really 20 percent damage reduction and bullet penetration reduction at the same time which i thought was a really big setback but nonetheless you can use it without it it already has a good amount of range but with this become with all these attachments that i have on the range is becoming you know really really high so unless you want to nerf the range and you know, deal with all that that go for it large caliber must be your thing but nonetheless guys that is going to be it for today thank you guys once again for stopping by this video make sure you guys let me know what you guys think about this build if you try it on it if you're looking to try it on if you're looking to uh if you've tried on the build that I recommended you with the large caliber, let me know what that how that goes. And, you know, the one that I'm showing right now, let me know how that goes. But nonetheless, guys, let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are this on this video and whatnot. But definitely, I'll see you guys in the next one, guys. And if you still haven't yet, definitely hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And just, you know, just comment down below what you guys think, you know. But nonetheless, guys, thank you for stopping by once again. I'll see you guys in the next one. But for today, guys, unfortunately... I gotta, you know, go ahead and start making more videos for you guys. But I'll see you guys in the next one, which is probably going to be tomorrow. But for now, guys, adios and peace.
Like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer, I'm marching to the sun.